Hey guys. So you guys have been asking me if I really think that TFI, T-Force, is really going to be buying or merging with Arc Best. And to answer simply, I don't know. But then again, I don't think so, at least not this contract. Now, the fact is that this uh, CEO, Elaine, or Alain, whatever his name is, Bedard, right? The CEO of T-Force. He's, he's known for this, man. I think it says that he's, he's basically already bought six other companies and that's what he's known for. All right. A lot of these CEOs, that's what they're known for. They build these companies up and they use them until they can't be used anymore. And then they cash out. That's the way it is. Um, so don't sit here and tell me that it's not okay for union laborers to work, work their asses off, collect for a pension, right? And get the hell out. Get the hell out and collect their pen, collect our pension. Don't tell me that that's wrong. Don't for a second tell me that that's wrong. Now, the other thing I'll say is be ready to jump shit. You know, that doesn't mean something's going to happen now. That doesn't mean something isn't going to happen now. The thing is, is be educated on other union jobs. For example, like for me, like I mentioned in the last video, I would go to Stater Brothers, right? Or jump to UPS. Or I would jump to Cisco, right? Now, those guys over at Cisco, shout out to you. You guys work hard. And, uh, you know, those guys make some pretty damn good money. You know, I talk about here on, you know, how great a money I make. Those guys make some good money too, right? Union all around, you're going to make some pretty good money. Um, like I said, the difference with non-union is when it comes to your health care and all that stuff, you're, you're going to be paying out of pocket both at the doctors and monthly, right? When you're union, you don't have to pay monthly. Now, I'm not saying, okay, it's been, it's been stated many times in my comment section. I'm trying to say that we are better than you. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm simply doing is educating you on what you have here on the union side. You know, people want to talk about, you know, all this crap about union guys, about union laborers. But nobody talks about how CEOs use and abuse um, companies. Because in the end, all they have to do is sell. Okay? As simple as that. And then we, the laborers that made the companies, the CEOs, the investors, richer and richer and richer, get left out on the street. Go ask those guys at Yellow. Go ask them over there. So, anyway, be well-rounded, be well-educated, um, stay up to date on uh, the operating ratios at whatever company it is that you may be at right now, but especially here at ArcBest. Stocks, right, are up. Um, like me and my buddy were talking about the other day uh, when we joined up just a couple of years ago, stock was, what, 80 bucks? Or probably cheaper than that, 40 bucks, and now it's up to 180 now, is it? 118? I gotta look again. Um, our CEO, Judy McReynolds, you know, she's making six million dollars a year. Six million six hundred thousand to be exact. Um, that guy, the CEO of T Force, here here's the one thing is they're talking, right? That's one thing that's for sure, is they're they're talking. We see be all of these articles that are coming out online that we're reading, there's one truth that we can agree on that's evident, that's apparent, there's proof that they are talking. Now, talking about a merger, right? Seriously? I don't know. But the fact that here on the Arc Best side, that they have done what they have done voting threshold. I did a video on this the other day, right? The voting threshold. They diminished it from a superior majority to the majority, right? So it just takes a majority of votes, not a super majority of votes, right? Whatever the hell that means. Um, as far as percentage, I'm not sure if you know the details about that comment below, but look it. All these details, what have you. I've seen enough already with these articles. 
I already know exactly where I'm going, where I'm going to, you know, pull the, uh, pull the cord on my parachute to. Okay. But do I think it's going to happen now? Like I said, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I don't think it's going to happen within this contract within the next contract. I don't know, but I'm going to be staying up to date, of course, on operating ratio, on um, our revenue, on what, how much we're profiting, right? We're going to see come next January what our profit sharing bonuses is going to look like, right? Last year, I think, well, I was able to get like 2,900, three grand, something like that. I think it was just over 2,900, almost three, something like that. So, I mean... The thing is, you guys, what we have is one another as a team. We're a team. Keep each other informed, updated, and we go from there.